Hey everyone, Ryan from Paranalytics here, and today I want to talk about our grant management app. Foundations who give grants to organizations or charitable causes need a better way to manage their application process. Usually, the process can involve a single or multi-step application, a board review of the application submitted, an awarding phase, and finally a reporting phase. Our system handles all of these components seamlessly into your existing WordPress website. Applicants are able to submit new funding requests 70% faster with our Time Saver module that we'll show you here shortly. Foundations no longer need to collect and organize paper applications, faxes, or other paper records for applicant history. This app was developed over five years and more than 15 grant cycles that resulted in a unique and rich feature set that I don't think you'll find anywhere else. Let's take a look at some of the admin features. So the first thing I want to show you is how you register for an account. So I'm going to log out and then we're going to try to register for an account. So the first thing is that's going to ask you for a federal tax ID. We call this the EIN check. So I'll put in a dummy number. We'll hit submit. And now it's going to tell us that our, our account cannot be created because this federal tax ID is already associated with an account. So this is going to prevent organizations from having multiple accounts, maybe with different users, and it's going to prevent multiple applications coming from the same organization. So this is a very helpful uh, system check. All right, so let's go ahead and log in and take a look at how we create the funding cycle. In this app, in this app you can create unlimited funding cycles. So whether you grant funds once a year or four times a year, not a problem, the system can handle it. So let's say that we want to open a test cycle and we want it to open from now and until first end of week of October. So go ahead and create that. And now we'll leave this as our test cycle. Now what we can do is we can automatically update your homepage. Uh, so if you have a button on there that says apply now, what we can do is we can show that button during this date range and we can hide that button when it's outside of this date range. Just in case, we also created a way to privately override the deadline for a specific user who have been allowed a late submission without opening up the whole cycle to everyone. Now let's take a look at the applicant history. So let me jump over here. Now it's going to go ahead and default us to the cycle I just created, but let me go back to the prior cycle. And so here we have all of our applicants and what board members like to do is they want to know what have we given this organization in the past. And so we can give you that information in one click. So if you click on this plus sign, you can see that this particular organization has not been funded in the past. If you click on this one, we can see that there's at least three other uh, giving cycles for this organization. So you have the year and you have the amount. So we can easily give board members what they need just by clicking on that plus sign. Now this page is called the applicant summary page and it is by cycle and it's very easy to navigate this. You can, you can use the search fields to find a particular organization or you can use it to find a particular contact. So we can see that this organization has not applied for this cycle. So this makes it very simple to access and find who you need. Now, if you love Excel, we provided an option for you to export all this data into Excel if you'd like to do that. Now from this table, the summary table, you can see very quickly the PDF. So the, you can click on this and download the PDF of the whole application. You can see the amount that they requested, uh, what it's for, and then if you really want to dig into their financials, you can click these and access them. But at a minimum, you can see that they have submitted them. We also publish a couple of metrics that's very important for this foundation. So we can show any metric that you want in the table. And the other thing that we do is we have a comment module. And so the comment module allows board members to quickly and easily leave comments. So we can do a standard comment like this and we can save it. And you'll notice now that the comment has changed color, which means I've already, I've already left a comment for that one. 
Um, let's pick another one and we can just put a random comment here and save that comment. And we now have turned that one yellow. So for board members, this is a very useful feature because they can go through all of their uh, comments that they need to leave if they want to make comments on everything and uh, they'll know which ones that they've done that for. So very, very nice feature there. Okay, let's talk about the applicant details. So again, this is the applicant summary, but once I click on the applicant's name, I can get to a detail page and there's a lot of critical information. So this is now I'm diving into a board meeting. Someone on the board is asked a question. They want to dive into something maybe that they gave the organization two years ago. Uh, and so we can go back two years and we can click on that. And then we can show, uh, we can quickly pull up their, their application and their financials very, very quickly. We can also see comments left back in 2018 if we wanted to. So this is very useful. Um, and the other nice feature about this is we can send emails uh, from the system. So uh, once a ch uh, status has changed, if we want to change the status to declined or in review, we can do that. It's going to go ahead and put a time and date stamp. And if we have awarded the organization, we can send them an email through the system right here. And we can go ahead and use our system to send out these award emails. It's going to populate it with their name, their organization, uh, all the merge tags, if you will, that have been set up. It'll go ahead and populate their email easily. And you don't have to use Outlook or Gmail and pull it into your personal email. It can all be done through here. And as soon as that email is sent, uh, it'll populate a date and timestamp. So very useful feature there. Now, what happens if a organization uh, fills out everything and they submit it and then they call you a few days later and they say, uh, I, you know, I made a mistake on the application. Is there any way that I can change uh, the information I put on there? I had some wrong numbers. And so the answer is no problem. So what we can do is we have what's called an application rerun. And to do that, we're going to go into the back end of the website and uh, we're going to go into an applicant and we'll just pick on uh, a cycle and we will go here and, and edit, edit the information. Well, this, this one's too old. Let me pick a different one. Let me go to 2021, see if they have anything in here. Okay, so let's say that they want to change the numbers that are in this table. So you have them on the phone, you've got their application pulled up, no problem, oh, this is supposed to be a different number or this is supposed to be a different number. You can enter those into the table and then when you're done, you come down here and you hit this button that says rerun application. So what that's going to do, it's going to replace the application PDF that was already run and created, and it's going to replace it with the new one that has the new information and the new data. So it's going to save you and them tons of time um, and makes it very easy. So this is a great feature. We're going to replace the old PDF with the new PDF. As soon as you do this, when they log in, they'll see the updated PDF. Now, most foundations uh, may require a report, and the report is going to be something that they request if they want to get new funding again. So uh, one of the things that we do for admins is we have a reporting module. So you want to know how the money was spent and what the impact was on the community. So we can implement this module for you. And what it does is uh, as soon as a organization creates an application, they submit it, we have an invisible timer. And that timer is whatever you want it to be. But essentially, let's say it's a one-year deadline. So they have one year to submit their uh, report and they are able to give, give you all the information that you're asking for in a timely manner. And so let me try to show you that by logging in as a user. Okay, 
this particular organization does have a report due. And what you'll notice is that if the report is due, the tab turns red. So let's click on the tab. Now what it's going to do, it's going to pull last cycle that they were awarded, and it's going to pull in all the information they submitted, and even down to the how they were going to use the budget. Now what they're supposed to do is fill out the actuals. So they asked for a certain amount of money for this. Now they can put in what they actually used. And then they can sign the report and then submit it. Now, by doing so, it's going to take this report tab, it's going to take the red off, and it's going to allow them to submit a new application. So they will not be able to submit a new application until they resolve this report that's due. 30 days out, the organization will receive an email letting them know that the report is due. So very, very helpful feature if your foundation requires reporting. Now, you just saw me log in as a user. This goes into our next feature, which is user emulation and support. So we can provide you guys any kind of support you need. And of course, you can do this yourself. But um, this allows you to log in as the user. You don't have to change their username. You don't have to change their password. And you can actually see what they're seeing. So if they're having a problem with submitting an application or there's something wrong with their profile or, or something like that, I'm actually logged in as them. And I can see you know, if there's a problem. Now let's jump into the next feature, which is for our digital application, our time saver feature. So have you ever been to a doctor's office where they ask you to fill out multiple sheets of paper with your medical history and all this info, and it's the same basic contact information every page is like really annoying. So our digital application doesn't, doesn't do that. So one of the things that we're going to do is number one, everything you filled out in your profile, we're going to bring it forward to the application. So you can kind of see it right here. It's already bringing all that information through. So you don't have to fill it all out all over again. And here is the cool part. This is what saves everyone 70% of their time. So if you've done this once already, let's say you submitted an application in 2020, I'm going to go ahead and, and it's going to give me this time saver pop-up. It says, do you want to fill everything in from your last submission? And you can say, sure. So now everything is going to be pre-filled for me. And it makes it very simple. So now I can just go in here and change the numbers. I can change uh, the grant amount, the budget. Everything is, is changeable very quickly. Um, and uh, I don't have to redo everything from scratch. So for a lot of organizations, this saves a ton of time. This was the largest complaint we heard from applications, from applicants, was that, you know, it takes a lot of time. The other thing that we did, and this was another complaint, was that they couldn't save their applications and come back and edit them later. So down here, uh, we have a save button. So the system's automatically going to save every five minutes, but in case you want to hit save, do that too. So that's very, that's very uh, a nice feature that prevents data loss. That was a big, big complaint with other systems is that grant writers would say, we're filling out applications. Um, it's not saving. So you can see now we just saved the draft. In addition to this, we'll get into our next feature, which is preview mode. So if you click on this button right here, we are going to give you a full PDF and preview your entire application. So if you need to uh, run this by your executive director, run it by the organization CEO before you submit it, this is how you can quickly and easily do that. So this is a great, great feature. Now, in addition to that, the foundation may also require for you to upload um, your annual budget information, okay? your balance sheet, your 12 months consolidated uh, income statement. Now, the document uploader is like most ones that you've seen. So you can choose a file from your desktop by clicking on this, or you can also drag and drop files into there as well. So you can do either way.
Okay, so that's a quick demo of our grant management app. So we would love to talk to you guys. We'd love for you to stop leasing and perpetually paying $10,000 a year or more for your grant management system. Not only can we customize your install to your exact process and build this right into your WordPress site, but you own this. We will host this on, we will host this. We will maintain the code and provide support to your applicants during the grant cycles. So please let us know how we can help you. Thank <laughs> you.